OK, in this video, we've got a uniform ladder of length 6 metres and weight 150 newtons. It's leading at an angle of 20 degrees to the vertical against a smooth wall with its base resting on rough horizontal ground. A man of weight 800 newtons climbs up the ladder. Given that the coefficient of friction is 0.3, find the maximum distance that the man can climb up the ladder before it slips. OK, so let's draw a diagram so we can see what's going on. Right, there's my ladder. OK, so what I'm told is that this is a ladder that is leaning at an angle of 20 degrees to the vertical. So that is 20 degrees. So beware, that would be 20 degrees to the horizontal if it was that angle there. Um, it's resting on rough horizontal ground. So let's, uh, let's call that point A and that point B. So I'm going to have a normal reaction force, RB, and a frictional force working in that direction, F. Um, the wall is smooth, so there's no frictional force, but there will be a normal reaction force, RA. Um, the uniform ladder is of length 6 metres and weight 150 newtons. So it's centre of mass right in the middle, 150 newtons. And that's uh, 3 metres. OK, the whole thing's 6 metres. Uh, a man of weight 800 newtons climbs up the ladder. OK, so <clears throat> we've got this person, which I'll represent as a particle, with a weight of 800 newtons. And its distance up the ladder, I'm going to call x metres. OK. Um, we're told that the coefficient of friction is 0 0.3. OK, so hopefully with all this information, uh, we should be able to work out uh, the maximum distance, the maximum value x can be. OK, so what are we going to do first? Well, um, let's take moments about b. OK, so if I take moments about b then what have I got? Well, I've got RA, which is going around that direction, so clockwise, so it's negative. Let's complete this triangle. OK. So, um, that distance is the same as that distance there. Now, if that's 20 degrees, OK, um, then I could work with that if I wanted to. Uh, I think we're more used to having that angle down there, so that would be 70 degrees, wouldn't it? OK. So, this is 6 metres, that's 70 degrees, OK, and that, so that's 6 sine 70, which would be the same as 6 cosine 20, OK? You could use either or. So that's the distance, RA negative, so minus RA times 6 sine 70, OK? Uh, what else have we got? Well, we've also got the 800 newtons, which is going around that way, so uh, anti-clockwise, and so that's positive, so plus 800. Now, distance-wise, will be okay that distance there. So if the hypotenuse is x, um, so that would be x cosine 70. So times x cosine 70. Then we've also got 150 newtons working that way, and it's going around positive, so plus uh, 150 times by 3 cosine 70. And that's going to be equal to 0. OK. So, what have I got? Well, from that, let's simplify things if we can. Uh, now, 6 sine 70 is not going to be particularly nice. Um, so, um, let's write it as 800 cosine 70 x uh, plus 150 times 3. So, 450 cosine 70 will be equal to 6 sine 70 RA. 
Okay, so just move that there. Okay, so that is an equation that involves x and r a. Okay, so let's see what else we can do. Well, I also know that um, the if I resolve forces, take looking at horizontally here, okay, um, if I resolve taking to the left as positive, then I've got the frictional force working to the left, and I've got RA working to the right, okay? And that's got to be equal to zero. So I know that the frictional force has got to be the same as RA. Now, um, Mm -mm -mm. Okay, so if we're looking at uh, just before it slips, we're in limiting equilibrium. So that means that F is equal to mu times RB. Okay, so we know mu is 0 0.3, so F is equal to 0 0.3 RB. Now, can we work out RB? Well, if I look at resolving the forces vertically, taking upwards as positive, then I've got that RB. We've got the, the 800 working downwards and the 150 working downwards. And that's got to be equal to zero. So RB is going to be 950 newtons. Right. So I've got RB, which means that F is 0.3 times the 950, which is 285. And that is the same as RA. So now I've got the RA that's there as well. So we've got that x is going to be 285 times 6 sine 70. which is 1,606.87. Take away the 450 cos 70, which is 1,452.965. Divide that by 800 times cosine 70. And we get x is 5.31023, etc. OK, so 5.31 metres to three significant figures. So that means that the man can climb up 5.31 metres before the ladder will slip.